From deceptive birds to harmless creatures that resemble some of the most dangerous arachnids on Earth, here are eight animals that mimic other animals. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 8. Common Hawk Cuckoo The Common Hawk Cuckoo, found throughout most of the Indian subcontinent, has evolved as a visual mimic of its namesake predatory bird. It bears a striking resemblance to the Shikra, a sparrowhawk species. From its plumage, which is ashy grey above and whitish below, to its broadly bared tail, the Cuckoo may very well be mistaken for the Shikra at first glance. This is not, however, where the similarities end. The common hawk cuckoo flies in a flap and glide style, just like the shikra. It mimics its behavior by flying upward, landing on a perch and shaking its tail from side to side. Upon spotting the cuckoo, squirrels and smaller birds often raise the alarm as if they were in the presence of the sparrow hawk. Number 7. Alligator Snapping Turtle the alligator snapping turtle is easily recognizable by its large, heavy head and long thick shell that features three ridges of large scales. The turtle's common name is derived from its rough appearance, which is reminiscent of an alligator's ridge skin and from its immensely powerful jaws. The turtle employs a form of aggressive mimicry to ambush its prey. It hunts by lying motionless in the water with its mouth, the inside of which is camouflaged open. It has an appendage on the tip of its tongue which resembles a worm and imitates its movements, thus luring prey inside the turtle's mouth. The alligator snapping turtle then closes its mouth with tremendous force, killing its prey and completing the ambush. People who handle these creatures must be very careful, as accidents have been reported in which the turtle has bit fingers clean off. Before we continue with our list, it's time for our quiz question. What dinosaur species is the snapping turtle often compared to? Is it A. Stegosaurus B. Ankylosaurus C. Triceratops or D. Sarcosuchus Let us know what you think in the comments section below and stay tuned to find out the right answer. Number 6. Green Banded Broodsack this parasitic flatworm has a truly fascinating and somewhat disturbing life cycle. In its larval stage, it travels into the digestive system of a snail. From that point on, it develops into a sporocyst that infects the host's eyes. The sporocyst then grows into long tubes to form brood sacs, which contain hundreds of juvenile worms, called cercariae. The brood sacs basically take over the snail's tentacles and pulsate in a swollen, colorful display that reacts in response to light sensitivity. This brilliant display is similar in appearance to a caterpillar or grub. It attracts predatory birds which swoop down and eat the snail. The bird thus becomes the flatworm's definitive host. Inside its digestive tract, the cercariae develop into adults, reproduce and lay eggs. After the eggs are released from the bird via its excretory system, the droppings are consumed by a snail completing the parasitic worm's life cycle. Number 5. Pygmy Owl The northern pygmy owl and several other pygmy owl species have false eyes on the back of their heads, thus giving ambush predators the impression that they're being watched. The black eyes are outlined with white and also create the illusion that the bird is larger than it actually is. This behavior is known as automimicry and it often aids the northern pygmy owl in avoiding predation. A recent theory is that the false eyes also play a role in protecting the owl's real eyes. When smaller birds mob this diurnal owl, they might even strike it, directing their attacks at its eyes. If the imitation takes the brunt of the attacks, then no harm will come to the bird's vulnerable true eyes. Number 4. False Cleaner Fish one species of comb-toothed blenny called Aspidontus taenitis is also commonly known as the false cleaner fish. This is because it mimics the appearance and often the movement of the blue streak cleaner wrasse. The latter is usually found at cleaning stations in coral reefs 
ranging from Eastern Africa and the Red Sea to French Polynesia. Cleaning stations are visited by larger fish, referred to as clients, which are greeted by groups of cleaner asses. They perform a type of dance by moving their rear up and down to let the clients know that they are service and not food. The larger fish also recognize them by their signature blue streak. The wrasses clean by consuming the ectoparasites on their clients. It's a mutually beneficial relationship which the false cleaner fish has evolved to take advantage of. Not only do they resemble the wrasse in appearance, blue streak included, but they've also been observed performing the same dance. However, occasionally, the false cleaner fish won't feed on the ectoparasites of the client fish. Instead, the imitator will attack its client, sometimes succeeding in tearing away portions of its fin. This type of behavior is most successful with juvenile clients. As evidence suggests, adults are able to distinguish between the model and the imitator. One of the differences is that the false cleaner fish has an underslung mouth instead of it being in the terminal position and giant canines that protrude from its lower jaw. Number three, Siphonia clavata. Siphonia clavata, a tree hopper species, has developed a rather unique adaptation for deceiving its predators. The main body of the tree hopper is almost entirely buried under a protrusion extending from its back. The fascinating aspect is that this growth bears an uncanny resemblance to an ant species found in the tree hopper's environment. The insect's pale coloration almost acts as camouflage when contrasted by the ant imitation's size and color. The mimicked ant is most likely an aggressive and stinging species from the Myrmecyne subfamily. The protrusion's likeness is remarkably accurate down to the spines found on the ant's back, which make it particularly unpalatable for predators. It's also positioned with its head towards the tree hopper's back. That way, as the insect moves forward, the imitations give the illusion of a reversing and agitated ant that's in a defensive posture. So, to what dinosaur is the alligator snapping turtle most often compared to? The right answer was B, Ankylosaurus. Much like the snapping turtle, these creatures also had armor in the form of bony plates called osteoderms. The dinosaurs, like the turtles, were quadrupeds with broad, robust bodies and beak-like structures at the front of their jaws. Yet the dinosaur's diet was exclusively herbivorous and it was also much bigger. The heaviest alligator snapping turtle was a 1937 specimen rumored to have weighed 403 pounds. The Ankylosaurus, on the other hand, could grow to be an estimated 26 feet long and weighed close to 8 tons. Number 2. Mimic Octopus When it comes to deception among marine animals, this creature is unrivaled. A true master of disguise, the Mimic Octopus can blend in with its environment as well as impersonate other local species. It possesses pigment sacs, known as chromatophores, which enable it to change skin color and texture to blend in with its surroundings. It also moves and arranges its body in ways that make it resemble other creatures. It has been observed mimicking up to 15 species of marine organisms, most of which are poisonous including sea snakes, lionfish, flatfish, jellyfish or soulfish. When imitating jellyfish, which many octopus predators tend to avoid, it will puff up its head and let its arms trail behind it. The octopus will then swim towards the surface and slowly sink with its arms spread evenly around its body, just like a jellyfish. It imitates a flatfish by pulling its arms on one side and flattening out its body as it moves forward along the ocean floor. Nobody knows for sure how many animals the mimic octopus can imitate. One incredible aspect regarding its behavior is that the octopus will actively decide what type of mimicry would be most appropriate and then act upon it. For example, one specimen was observed as it was attacked by a damselfish. To avoid this, the octopus mimicked one of the fish's predators, a black and yellow banded sea snake. As it glides over the sand on the ocean floor, the mimic octopus will also use its abilities for hunting. It will sometimes imitate a crab, acting as a potential mate, and then devour any suitors that approach it. Number one, pseudoscorpion. 
there are currently over 3,300 identified species of pseudoscorpions and researchers are still discovering more. This tiny arachnid enjoys a wide distribution all over the world, from temperate to cold regions, with one species, Jalifa cancroids, commonly found in homes. They typically enter a home by latching onto a larger insect, a process known as foracy. Unlike the creature it mimics in appearance, pseudoscorpions aren't dangerous. In fact, they're sometimes regarded as beneficial to humans as they prey on ants, mites, small flies, or closed moth larvae. Unlike true scorpions, this creature is rounded at the rear, lacking the segmented tail and the stinger. The rest of its body, however, is very similar to that of scorpions. The most obvious resemblance consists of a pair of appendages called pedipalps, which end in pincers. They have a gland in the pedipalps from which they deliver venom and immobilize their prey. They also have a gland in their jaws from which they can spin silk to make disc-shaped cocoons for molting or mating. This ability is similar to that of another well-known arachnid, the spider. Thanks for watching. Which of these animals do you think is the best deceiver? Let us know in the comments section below.